you have, think there's any sort of legitimacy to the second part of the Republican argument, which is that the people just spoke, they elected a new, even larger Republican majority, and the president should wait until next year and try and work with Congress? The president has been trying to work with Congress, and Congress has re uh, responded by passing comprehensive immigration reform, two-thirds majority in the Senate, strong bipartisan support. We know that for the bill that we have in the House, we could pass it if the Speaker would just give us a vote. It mirrors much of the Senate bill a little different. It has Mr. Thompson's uh, border. The border, on the border uh, issues, and that was bipartisan, unanimously passed in his committee. Do you want to speak to that, Mr. Thompson? I think say something that there was a presidential election, too, which gave him great... Uh, yeah, but that's that's okay. Okay. Well, no, yeah. I, it's enough to say that the Republicans are saying they had an election, but the country had an election. And Obama was elected with, with great numbers, <laughs> giving him the right to run the country. But if he can't get any help to do that, he has this other avenue that he and many presidents, many of them three times more executive orders than he's ever signed. And it's perfectly legitimate. And I don't know why were you all so obsessed with that notion, because I bet you that you know yourself that it's perfectly legitimate for him to do it. And you made no outcry of any sort when anybody else did it. It's because it's Obama.